Hey guys, today we're talking about seasons. Every astrology sign stays in a specific season. There's four seasons, summer, winter, autumn, fall. There's three astrology signs per season. There's 12 astrology signs, three, six, nine, 12. Which, which season do you fall under the most in your life? If you were to take the whole, your whole birth chart and identify with one sign in your chart, which sign would it be and what time of the year would your energy be the most prevalent in your opinion? For spring, the astrology signs are as follows. Aries, Taurus, and Gemini in the springtime. Gemini is really excited. Entero represents the lovers. And Taurus is, is notorious for knowing sensuality and bloom being a very popular phrase associated with Taurus because Taurus Holds the energy of the rose and the rose blooms beautiful flower awesome petals smells great aries is like a child aries is always blooming emotionally through their ideology they're excited about everything spring aries taurus and gemini you see the excitement and you feel it. Is that what you resonate with? Or do you resonate with more of a, a summer astrology sign vibe? A Cancer, Leo, or Virgo? Cancer, Leo, and Virgo are summer vibes. Come on guys, Cancer, Cancer loves so much and they show so much emotion and they embrace so much. You can feel it emanating every night from the moon, reflecting the sun. It has a tendency to coddle. Cancer does stuff like that. Cancer is the most loving forever and always. And Leo is also a summer sign. How is Leo the most prevalent? I mean, come on guys, the sun? Cancer's reflecting off of, off of the sun, Leo. Is, is that what you resonate the most with? You can use it, this in any way you want. You know, you could associate it with houses. You can use this in any way you want. Houses have all the astrology signs, you could use that. But I'm just, it's just me and you guys. When you look at your birth chart, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, which do you resonate the most with as I'm speaking? In general, in your life, which do you resonate the most, which do you resonate the most with? Leo is the sun, is always beating down on us. Is constantly beating down on us always watching even when they're not around because the moon is shining through the sun is that the personality you resonate the most with your your fiery energy your sun energy your leo energy is it your moon energy Virgo is summer also. Virgo would be summer for me, in my opinion, because Virgo is overbearingly focused on how to take one piece and make that piece more pieces. How to make that piece seem like it is more than one piece. 
how to make things seem metrically sound to a point where the Mason Freemasons. I mean, that's that's Freemasons are I'm pretty sure associated with carpentry. And Virgo would definitely have to do with that. So <clears throat> Virgo energy definitely has to do with checking out everything. Every every fiber in your being. Every atom. We are all a bunch of atoms moving at the speed of light. That's what flesh is. That's what everything physical is. Without Virgo energy, we wouldn't even exist. Autumn. If you guys don't know, autumn is... Autumn is the time when everything starts to get a little gloomy, a little bit more cold, when winter starts to hit a little bit, and all the leaves start to fall off of the trees, or the leaves start changing different colors, and then they fall to the ground. All of the rose bushes don't bloom like they used to. The autumn signs are Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Libra is always focused on relationships. Getting relationships, having relationships, having friends, having partners, everything associated with relationships. But the thing about always getting relationships is those things don't necessarily always last forever. Which is why I believe Libra is in the autumn section of the solar system. Let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to know. Please tell me. Why do you think that Libra is in autumn? Even though Libra is associated with love, why would it be in autumn? Scorpio. Scorpio is already dark. Come on. Scorpio really only cares about transitioning in life. Scorpio cares more about death and rebirth. Egyptians, how they used to mummify their, the people that they looked up to and how they would bury them with all of their, their constituents. Scorpio loves stuff like that. So of course they would be associating with death. It's only natural. And then Sagittarius. Sagittarius has a tendency to be very blunt. Tells you like it is, doesn't care about how you feel, what you think, anything like that. Sagittarius just says, look, this is how everything is, period. And I don't care how you feel. Sagittarius does that inwards also. Everything that's done as above, so below. So within, so without, okay? Sagittarius goes inward, blunt too. They hit themselves pretty hard. And so, in doing that, I'm sure they take breaks and go places alone to recharge. The last season would be winter. It is winter. That's the cold season. That's the season when you had to buckle down to stay safe. And if you live somewhere where there's snow, to stay warm and to try your best to stay out of nature. Pisces is one of the top hitters right there for be, being peace out, just, just going inwards and being dreamy. That's all Pisces energy. So it would make sense for Pisces to be in the winter time when you're looking outside and it's really rainy and you just want to chill, watch a movie, take a nap. There's also Aquarius in there. Aquarius is... Is the strange one. Aquarius is a strange one. They they don't they don't live by any rules. In doing such, they are also associated with Saturn. And Saturn is very associated with rule and staying stable and staying focused, taking everything moment day by day, by moment by moment. That's Aquarius energy. 
and Aquarius is ruler of Saturn, and the other co-ruler of Saturn, Capricorn, is also part of winter. And so when you keep your head down and you work really hard, that's all Capricorn. Aquarius does the same thing. They keep everything down, but they just do it their way. They don't have to ask your opinion, your friend's opinion, no one's opinion. They just do things their way. They come out the other end happy. And that's it. For all of the... <clears throat> all of the seasons. There's four seasons. Four seasons of astrology, four seasons. Okay? There's four seasons, guys. And we've gone through all of them. And I wish I could stick around. But I gotta go. And so thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk about astrology. And you guys stay blessed.